Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. This question says that you have 50 electronics being shipped. So 50 items in a box. Before shipping, quality control always tests five of these items, meaning if they're not all good, they don't make the shipment. If the box contains seven faulty items, what's the probability that the box actually ships? So basically we have 43 good items and we have seven faulty items. And we're basically saying, what's the probability that everything that is tested comes from this group? Now, it doesn't matter what order they're pulled out, we just care that it comes from that group. So we want the combination of the 43 good items taken five at a time, divided by the combination of all 50 divided by taken five at a time. When we do probability, we're looking at part over whole. And so whole should always be everything put together, all 50 electronics. When we throw this into a calculator, we find out that the probability of the box still shipping is 0 0.454. Okay, so what is the probability that all the tested items are faulty? So one category is all good, another category is all faulty. So this is the one where we take the seven faulty, five at a time, divided by the 50 possible, five at a time, and we get a total probability of 0 0.000000 Nine, nine, which isn't very likely. Next it says, what's the probability that at least one item is faulty? Okay, so when we do this problem, we have a few choices. We could have zero faulty. And with zero faulty, that is of course what we first calculated, the combination of the 43 taken five at a time divided by the combination of 50 taken five at a time. We could have one faulty. We could have two faulties. We could have three faulties, four faulties, or, or five faulties, which we've done this calculation. These calculations are more interesting. One faulty would be the combination of the seven faulties taken one at a time, times the combination of the 43 good taken four at a time, because we have to make sure that we multiply until we get all five items represented. Then we, of course, divide by the combination of 50 taken five at a time. For two, this becomes two and three, three and two, four and one, and then we get our last one. If we want at least one item, that means we're adding these five categories. Honestly, if this is how I write one faulty and I have to add all five together, that seems very long, kind of tedious, tiresome. But if we added all these together, just add them down, zero plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five, we should be getting one. That's what probability is. It should all add up to one. Which means if we have the probability of at least one item, we should be able to flip this around and instead of adding the five together, we should be able to say one minus no faulty. Which is the same as saying one minus all good. And the thing about all good, we've already calculated it. So all we have to do for this one is say 1 minus 0 0.454 and we get uh, 0 0.546. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.